Hello and welcome to Media Cafe Travel. Be sure to subscribe using the red button below or on the bottom right hand corner of this video. Today we will show you one of the last days of the Wicked Spoon Buffet. For now. Hopefully. This was filmed on a recent trip to Las Vegas in January. Uh, we were fortunate enough to be able to catch the second to last buffet at the Wicked Spoon. It was definitely a bittersweet experience. We love going to Vegas, and one of the highlights of Las Vegas is all the great buffets on the Strip. Of course, the pandemic has caused most of the buffets to close down on the Strip. But one of the top buffets, Wicked Spoon, has remained open for much of 2020 with new ways to allow for masking and social distancing. However, as a response to the late year surge in COVID cases, the governor of Nevada imposed new dining restrictions. Part of it called for all dining to be by reservation only, and also a capacity reduction down to 25%. Ultimately, this became the reason to shut down the buffet. So this is a look at one of the final days of this great buffet for now. As you can see from the lines and also the distance, uh, the capacity was already down to 25%. Um, so in the reservations kept there from being a line up because you wouldn't uh, show up until your reservation time. So that kept a lot of people out of the line, which is a good thing, I guess. Here is the Asian station, starting uh, with uh, some of the fried rice options and the soups you can see. Uh, again, the line itself is separated uh, six feet away uh, with a velvet rope the whole way, uh, so the whole line. So it gets a little bit hard to get close-ups of the food on the line itself. So you'll see some of the food later. But uh, obviously the Asian station uh, has got a lot of uh, Asian treats for you. Uh, a lot of good uh, noodles, soups, uh, no sushi on this. And we actually have uh, sushi on uh, other buffets. Uh, that we're going to show you on other videos. So hit the notification bell. This is a reminder. Here's the bone marrow, of course, um, always on the Asian line. But as you can see, uh, the food is still very high quality, very good. Um, you just don't get close to it. So here, here you can see some of the Asian station uh, selections, some of the dumplings, some of the noodles, some of the soups. Uh, so all of this is still good stuff. Um, the buffet actually was brunch, so you're going to see the brunch line later, you're going to see some breakfast foods, uh, and things of that nature, but uh, Wicked Spoon Buffet always has some really good selections. Uh, the only difference, of course, is how you get it now. You don't go get up and get it yourself, it's uh, separated. Uh, you get one of the employees to uh, serve you the food to your plate, uh, and so they go and get the food for you. Uh, as you stay six feet away and you have to wear your mask at all times during the line. The only time you remove your mask is when you get back to your seats. Here you can see sort of the signage 
the grill stations, the cold bar, the Latin station, the brunch bar, and the Asian station, and of course the desserts, which we'll see later too. But uh, the, the, the signs here looking uh, at, at the different stations, but uh, we're going to show you all of them, and of course uh, a lot of great food from each of them. So after the Asian station is the brunch line, and that is by far the most popular. You can see the Eggs Benedict uh, is always almost out, uh, and some of the other items on the on the brunch bar are a really high high ticket and high demand. So uh, uh, French toast, pancakes, uh, things of that nature. So uh, as you can see, um, this line uh, they it's hard for them to keep it stocked at brunch time. But here you see the Eggs Benedict, um, some of the vegetables uh, to be found, the cauliflower as well. But uh, again, uh, this is their brunch buffet. So uh, the brunch uh, station is uh, very popular. You see here the, the uh, smoothies, uh, there's always some kind of treat uh, with Wicked Buffet that you don't really expect. So they had fresh smoothies, uh, strawberry banana was that particular uh, one, and they, they've got uh, fresh juices as well on their, uh, on their station. Here you're seeing the carving station uh, with the great uh, um, sirloin, uh, prime rib, uh, pork loin. Uh, this is their famous Wicked Chicken, which uh, they never have enough uh in stock it seems for me um but again uh during brunch they do have other things uh, like the uh, bacon and the sausage uh near the carving station that, that go with the breakfast theme um you can see sort of uh the eggs uh here it's hard to get it you know they, they keep them uh in containers and and uh not really uh fresh uh anymore uh, so that's a little bit of a drawback uh, to this new design here. The smoothies we talked about, uh, they were actually very delicious, honestly. Uh, so the smoothie bar, they were making strawberry banana smoothies at that point. Uh, but again, uh, Wicked Buffet, you know, Wicked Spoon Buffet is, is one of the better buffets on the Strip. So it was remarkable to have them open uh, during this pandemic. Uh, it was great effort on their part to keep it alive and, and kicking. Uh, but here you see... Uh, the eggs uh, in their little containers. Uh, you could go with scrambled or egg whites. Uh, here's that juice that we talked about. This was uh, mango uh, juice, but uh, we got both the uh, scrambled eggs and the egg whites uh, for the breakfast part of the buffet. But uh, again, uh, hard to sort of uh, minimize. Uh, here's uh, almond toast uh, and banana bread, actually, uh, from the uh, the line that's coming up, which is uh, salads and breads and, and things of that nature. So you'll see those uh, on the on the line soon. But here we go with that. And uh, again, uh, hard to sort of uh, minimize how nice a buffet Wicked Spoon is, especially uh, one when you're um, going to Vegas during a pandemic. 
and there's a lot of limitations but uh, it was really nice always to have sort of the Wicked Spoon Buffet still available. Uh, here you can see some kale salad and some chopped salad. And again, those smoothies uh, making their uh, way onto all of our plates. Brunch was, was very enjoyable, uh, however, the whole time we sort of felt like, oh wow, you know, this, this may be the last time we actually get to enjoy um, the Wicked Spoon uh, Buffet, which has been one of our favorites for such a long time, but uh, um, there's hope, there's hope for the future, and I'll talk about it uh, as this video continues. Here you're looking at the, at the dessert bar, which is certainly everyone's favorite thing, even with all the other great food. The desserts are always really fun to uh, enjoy. Uh, one of the great things about uh, Wicked Spoon's Buffet is their gelato selection at the dessert bar. So here's a look at that. A lot of really uh, wonderful gelato flavors, uh, molten lava cake, um, everything you can think of, um, you know, on the... Uh, Wicked Spoon Buffet, including uh, one of the desserts you'll see is sort of uh, a preview of what you can get at uh, at uh, Spago, actually. It's a, it's a very wonderful dessert uh, at Spago, but they have a version of it here on the uh, Wicked Spoon. So this shows you sort of, sort of the quality of the desserts that you can find at the Wicked Spoon. Um, 
you can see it sort of there, uh, the yellow zenith, the zenith cake, uh, which is um, a play on the, uh, the dessert that you can find at the Spago, which uh, we do have a video on Spago coming. So yeah, hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode. But uh, again, um, Wicked Spoon, one of the finer buffets on the strip. Uh, obviously, a lot of people love uh, Caesar's uh, Palace. They love uh, Bellagio, of course, but uh, and Wynn even. Uh, but Wicked Spoon, for me, is right there. Uh, they got some great, uh, great desserts, uh, great food selections, especially dinner. Um, but, you know, brunch is always fun, too. So uh, here you see in the bread pudding, which is uh, really good. Uh, again, you know, uh, this is, is bittersweet because this, you know, if we lived in Vegas, you know, it would be a lot worse. Uh, the fact that we only visit uh, a few times a year uh, makes it a little less uh, noticeable uh, as a pain point. But because, uh, you know, this happened to luckily coincide with our visit that we were able to uh, come to the buffet and, and come to one of the last days of the buffet. But uh, again, um, certainly will be missed by uh, the travelers in the subsequent to uh, January 11th. Uh, so uh, here's some of the ice cream and the chocolate covered strawberries and the donuts even. The donuts are featured on the uh, brunch dessert menu. But uh, uh, again, you know, hard to beat uh, these desserts. time it was very quiet for a buffet if you've ever been to the buffet in its heyday you know how loud it is everyone enjoying their food talking uh so many folks enjoy it uh then it got really empty and you can see they cleared the line so i went to uh take a look at uh, the future the current future of uh the wicked spoon buffet and was a little bit sad walking through the lines and seeing all the uh empty food bars uh, but I wanted to say, and like I mentioned, uh, with some hope, uh, we did talk to our server. Um, he was very hopeful that they would come back in March. That's the target plan. And, uh, you know, with every other area opening up a little bit more, I think that's a strong possibility because, again, the main reason that they are closed is because 25% capacity is just not sustainable for a buffet. Uh, they could do it at 50%, uh, but 25% is really hard for them to, uh, to be able to do. So Wicked Spoon will be back. That's going to be my prediction, but it was a little bit sad to see it close on uh, this particular January afternoon. But again, uh, hit the notification bell. We got a lot more videos, including more buffets in Vegas. So be sure to subscribe. Uh, Share this with your friends and uh, stay tuned for more. We'll be back at Be a Cafe Travel. Thanks for watching.